So I'm gonna do one more thing. You're right. So hi, I'm Karen. I have been waiting to do this video. These right here. If anything Black Radiance did right, it is gonna be these right here. I was like, what? Milani now has competition? What? What? What and while the Black Radiance are like jumping in there and giving Milani a run for their money. I have been doing nothing but testing out different max liquid lipsticks. I've been testing out high end. Uh, I've tested out those in color. I've been testing out wet wow. I've been testing out how it's also a client, which I noticed makes a huge difference in how flaky and cracked up it turns out. So I want to say this um, as I'm doing this video that if you are putting way too much on in the initial application, you're not spreading it all over to get an even tone and then the working parts a little bit more on top. Um, if you're just smothering and smacking it on initially so you can have that look and it looks good like that until it starts to crack, maybe about 10 minutes later, um, that's why. Now, I can't attest to all the shades. I'm only gonna attest to what I have in here. And I don't think I've be, if I use, yeah, I have. I've used all the colors. So I'll give you kind of my thoughts on some of the colors, show you some swatches that I have from these. And there is a darker brown color, by the way. I thought I had it. When I went to the store, I thought I had bought it and I didn't. And I should have picked it up. It's like a neutral brown. So it's really cute. It's a lot deeper than this color right here. And they do have names on the packaging, but when you take the packaging off, you no longer see the names. I need y'all to work on that black radiance, please. Print the name on there somewhere. I understand they have the number, but the number is just not sufficient. The thing I would say with this particular color right here, I would do a lip liner with it, put it under. And I think you pretty much experience this with a lot of dark, a lot of dark um, matte liquid lipsticks. This, of course, this is not high end, but you do experience that with a lot, but once I did that, I totally noticed the difference the second time around. But as far as wearing it, the wear is long. The wear does not crack and look crazy and make you look like something is wrong with you and your lips. I love the way it naturally just fades off. And when it fades off, it's easy for you to reapply. And I think that's the key with matte the liquid lipsticks. I do not want to have the chunky cracking up looking like I have, you know, some zombie apocalypse going on in my lips. And then when I try to reapply more on top, it makes it look worse. You know what I mean? Like, I have not experienced that with these at all. So I can say I'm very, very happy with them. Let, let's go to these swatches. I'm gonna go with the first one. And then look at the applicator, y'all. Nice and flexible. You see that? Nice and flexible. I really like that a whole lot. That's the color there. Very, very beautiful. Nudie, neutral pink. One was a 5403. Now, this next color, this one is the 5408. These do dry all the way down matte. So yeah, so that's the pinky tone right there. And then one more, which is the 5404. And I just love, love, love this one. But look at that color. And when I say it dries down all the way matte, I mean it dries down all the way matte. And I'm trying to make sure it doesn't look too blown out. So I'm trying to give y'all some different depths so you can really get an idea of this color. And I should have timed it to see how long, but it's it says it's a matte lip cream. So it does, it's just, I'm not loving these all the way crazy, crazy matte, but when they're creamy, like I want to say by far my, my favorite formula is from Tarte, Tarte Lip Cream Paint, whatever they call it. So I'm gonna use the dark one. So I'm gonna be trying this new Wet n Wild Gel Liner. Do, 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 do. This one here, I don't know if y'all have seen these. They came out not too long ago. And this one is in Plum Together, 657A. I need to see if they have like a nice brownie nude. Cause I feel like a lot of times the brownie nudes are way too nude for me. You know what I mean? All right, so by far this is this is what it looks like. 
Um, it hasn't completely dried yet, but like I said, I love the fact that it's a comfortable formula and it does dry all the way down matte. There's no maybe, it might, no, it does. All right, and so far that's what we're looking like on my hand. It's almost dried. Yeah, it's definitely starting to dry matte. I'm starting to feel it. And then the next color combination I'm gonna be using is this pencil from Wet n Wild, and I believe this is chestnut. And the one thing I will say about um, Wet n Wild lip pencils is they are creamy. The eyeliner pencils, not so much. They are a more dry formula, but the lip pencils are on point. All right, and then this one is in 5403. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit. And then apply a little bit more liner. <sighs> yeah. And I will put the price on here because I can't remember if it was like what the cost was, if it was $5.99 or $6.99, I can't remember. But this color combination right here, those two between this and the other one, I'm in love. And I imagine what those would look like if you put it all over, but I don't feel like for the lighter colors, you have to do that. It's funny how some formulas, and I think also your lip color also plays a big role in that. So if you feel like you need to matte out your lip color as well, with your foundation just to kind of give it an even um, surface just to kind of work with, color surface should I say, um, that also helps as well. All right, I'm just, yeah, I'm just loving both colors. So anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show y'all because there's also this pinky color, I would probably say for me that it'll probably go better with the brown and with the burgundy as well um, because I can't just do flat out just pink on my skin tone or even this lip color. I feel like it will make me look washed out. You kind of need something to kind of just set it off. But if you're one who you love that bold lip look, I would say try this out. Um, but even this color, it might be just a little bit on the transparent side as well. But I haven't tested out every color. So keep in mind that different colors behave differently. So that's something for you to keep in mind. So if you've tried these out, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Let us know what numbers or colors uh, numbers that you use that you felt like worked or even didn't work um, I think that's always good to know because every color does not behave the same if you like this video don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button down below and the notifications as well so whenever I upload a new video you can receive it right to your phone yeah right to your phone and we thank y'all so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon bye